Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And man, this company is just asking for a lawsuit. This company's been asking for, this company has been having trouble for years. They, they thought this was a good way to fix that. Holy God. Okay, so we're gonna talk about Yelp. Now this isn't something that we is usually in our, our wheelhouse, but Yelp made the announcement, what, a day or two ago, mm -hmm. that they were going to allow people to rate a business as being racist or not. And this is incredibly dangerous because anybody with any grievance whatsoever can falsely flag your business apparently as, as being well, racist. What they were saying was on their tweet was that if they see an uptick in complaints, then they'll get, they'll get, a, they'll get labeled and, 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 you know, they'll get like a label of some kind. Oh my God. Um, you know, to see, and then people in the comments were like, well, they should be allowed to get their label removed only if they show, you know, actual, you know, change. They took steps to change. What's going to happen is if someone doesn't like somebody's business, they could just make, they have a bunch of friends go and lie yes. about it. They don't like somebody who works there. They could lie and then demand that person be removed. There's a lot of ways this could be abused. And apparently, according to people on Twitter, there's already a list being compiled of who they're going to target. Yeah. So based on politics. Based on politics. And this is the thing. Yelp has been... Yelp is abused so badly. It already was. Uh, it was abused before this. People were using Yelp to... Uh, again, take down people's businesses that they personally did not like. I mean, you, you even have like, you know, disgruntled ex-employees. You've got maybe the business owner's ex-girlfriend getting some people together. Maybe a person had one single bad experience and now they got all these like alt well, accounts and they're tanking your business. What you kept seeing too was like somebody complained about something on social media and then they'd all go and target it. And then Yelp also, I think for business owners, you can pay them a, like a, a service fee to, to use them for your right. business and stuff. So we're going to take your money gladly we're going to offer you no protections for your business we have it so far we're not going to start now and now we're going to make it even harder yeah this is this is just a disaster waiting to happen uh we're going to talk about this article here because don't you know all racists lean lean right don't you know that that's, obviously if you're racist it's because you're republican that's right that's mm -hmm. right we're going to talk about that and we're going to talk about how you know they, they tried a version of this um, this made the news, you know, last year or the year before that there was a, a bakery near a college and they tried to smear this bakery as being racist and they actually won their lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think um, I remember that. Did they go after the college? Yeah. They yes, went, I remember this. The college was basically sending their social justice warriors out to take this Imagine that bakery. a college tied to social justice warriors. And it wasn't too far from us. It's actually in the, in Ohio. Uh, okay. This happened and that wound up being a big case. So this is going to be like you're opening yourself up to so much potential uh, legal uh, issues at this point, all all to get woke points on Twitter, mm -hmm. and it's it's not going to work. Oh, look, um, do you have it pulled up what they're what they're implementing so people can see? Yeah, this okay. is their this is their official blog. This is what I was talking. The public attention alert. That's, right, that's the link. public attention alert. New okay. consumer alert on Yelp. This is from the Yelp blog. Takes firm stance against racism. Well, I agree with being against racism. However, as of late, it's been a really interesting twist that. Um, basically, uh, you, you, racism has got boiled down to other people can't be racist against white people. That's not true. They said, you know, you can't be racist against white people, but they are. And I'm sorry, racism, I'm against racism in any form. I don't care what color you are. I don't care. Racism's bullshit. And I have a strong stance against it. This is, this is just asking for trouble. So this is coming from uh, VP of user operations. Uh, when we notice an unusual spike in activity on the business's Yelp page, our team of moderators will investigate and temporarily disable content as we place an alert mm -hmm. on the business's page to warn users some of these reviews may not be based right. on first Right, they've done experience. that before. Okay, here's what we'll do when an incident involving racism occurs. We'll default to a general public attention alert to inform our consumers of someone associated with the business. Someone associated wait, with whoa, the business. Whoa, whoa. Wait, before we always tried to base it, we always tried to, to put a temporary hold on it so we can verify it's true. Now we're not gonna verify it's true. We're gonna issue a public attention alert to inform customers that somebody there is, is, is been accused of, not proven, but accused of behavior that's racist. racist. So wait, any other behavior gets a disabled, a temporary disabled on it to, pr to protect the business and make sure that that's right and true, except for racism. We're yeah. gonna make sure they label them right away. Yeah, this is interesting. Now they don't label it as, as being racist until they look into it, but it does get a public attention alert, which right, is that's what I'm saying. just as bad. It's like the scarlet letter. Yes, it is. Uh, and people actually said on Twitter, I saw that they were like, it is a scarlet letter because it's a big 
pee in red. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't even see that little thing. Yeah. I, my first thought was a scarlet letter. Uh, will only escalate to a business accused of racist behavior alert when there's resounding evidence of egregious racist actions from a business owner or employee, such as using overtly racist slurs or symbols. And this alert will always link to a news article from a credible okay. media outlet. Then, my, then why don't we just jump to that? Okay, why do we need a public attention alert at all? Why don't you just do your damn job, research it, make sure it's true and provide actual proof before you label anybody? Yeah. How about that? Because the public attention alert is basically as bad. And and there this is this is asking for I I mean this is asking for trouble. At Yelp, we value diversity, inclusion and belonging both internally and on our platform, which means we have zero tolerance for racism. So we know that these values are important to our users and now more than ever, consumers are increasingly conscious of the types of businesses they patronize and support. In fact, we not Yelp, not Yelp. And yeah, we're just going to label you guilty. Mm -hmm. uh, Why not. label Yelp guilty? Go ahead. Uh, in fact, we've seen that reviews mentioning black owned businesses were up more than 617% this summer compared to last summer. Well, could it be the fact they put tabs in saying here you can support black owned businesses? I'm getting there. Black-owned businesses were up, uh, yeah, they were up. Support for women-owned businesses has also increased with review mentions up 114%. Over the summer, Yelp rolled out a number of initiatives to help users find and support black-owned businesses. Exactly, where are the ones where you help and support Asian businesses? Or you help and support, you know... Uh, Latino. Yes, businesses. Native American. You know? oh, we'll see. We partnered with My Black Receipt on the launch of a black-owned business attribute and joined the 15% pledge to further amplify by black owned businesses while searches for black owned businesses surged on Yelp. So did the volume of reviews warning users of racist behavior at businesses today in response to this will now place a distinct consumer alert on business pages to caution people about businesses that may be associated with overtly racist actions. Um, yeah, so they get this, this, and I think they get a P if they're not. Okay. I got a story that kind of relates to this. Um, my mom, got blocked off of a board. Uh, it, was like a, it was like a crafting board, I think. And they were talking about Joanne Fabrics. And I'm going to say it's Joanne Fabrics because we buy stuff there all the time. Um, they were doing a new initiative for a scholarship or some kind of like money given out to uh, black crafts people. And people brought, my mom was one of them, but people brought like, well, but I don't understand. There, you don't have it available. You don't have these available for other races. Um, how's that fair? Because it's like, you know, it, it, I'm not talking about just white people getting them. We're talking about the plethora of other people in the world besides white and black people. Um, and people, other people mentioned it too. My mom got banned from the group because she dared ask a question like, but I don't understand why we're doing this because there are many other races of people. And isn't this kind of discriminatory because you're focusing your attention. It would be the same. I would say the same thing if it was an Asian, you know, people, if I say the same thing, if it was white people, I'd say the same thing if you're specifying any particular race of everyone else. And she got, she got banned from the board because she dare ask that question about how this is fair. And I'm sorry, you know, I'm a person that believes, I don't care who owns a business. And how do they come they care about who owns black businesses now? They didn't care about it when they were burning stuff down. People, one lady would be wrote on her, on her building as it's a black owned business and they still burned it down. They didn't give two fucks about who owned it because at the end of the day, I don't care either. I don't care if your business is run by whoever. If you have a good business and, it's, and you do a good job, you know, I'm gonna come to your business. I don't care who owns it, honestly. Geeky, you need to stop talking. If you keep talking, they're going to pin a scarlet letter to you onto your shirt. Oh, they already they're, do. They'll stick it on our YouTube channel. That'll be the next thing. You watch. You watch. They'll start with the YouTube channels. They'll be like, oh, this YouTube channel's hot takes are too hot. Uh, they're too hot. Well, so I would. Uh, well, letter. I got to tell you right now at this point, I think Yelp could be accused of racist behavior. Yeah. You know, it's funny how the, the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Um, that, that people are like, well, this is a good thing, right? Because it's anti-racist. Let's be racist and say it's anti-racist. That, that's what racist. I'm talking about. It keeps happening. Uh, no, I did see a thing that was shared on Facebook the other day about this group of women. And they go around and they were trying to do things to make things better for minority-owned businesses. So they were out there trying to raise money for different groups. But they made sure that they, they changed it up. Like one week it was they're, they're focusing on this kind of group. Another week it was a different kind of group. So they were making sure that it wasn't just we're just, we're just only sticking to a certain type of person. You know, they were trying to help everyone fairly. And I thought that was great because there's a lot of people who are underrepresented who need help. And I, yeah. and I believe in that. 
What I don't believe is this whole idea that everybody's racist and let, you know, except, you know, every, well, sorry, let me rephrase that. White people are the only ones that are racist, no one else is. And, and the definition of racism anymore is a completely different definition of racism than ra what racism really is. This is racist. I'm sorry, Yelp. This is racist. You're being your own policy is racist. So I'm kind of like, I mean, you were talking about, you know, the black owned businesses, making sure that they, they let people know, let uh, rioters know they that, were. that they were, they were black owned business. And I've seen, I've seen a heartbreaking videos of black business owners being like, I worked my ass off my whole life. It didn't matter. To it these didn't people. matter. Um, and the chances are, I mean, the place might have even been burnt down by a white person, you know. Well, that happened a lot, too. Happened, if I'm going to be completely honest, yeah. that happened a lot. Um, that's kind of what happened here in Pittsburgh. They actually had a uh, fairly peaceful protest, and then some little white uh, kid showed up and started smashing out windows, and uh, things escalated. But, um, you know, so th this new pre is this going to be so we know which businesses to target? Well, they said there are groups already making already lists about lists. who they're going to who's who they're going to throw a whole bunch of complaints at to try to get them shut down, and this is a bad thing. I mean, if it's really taking a stance against racism for real, and it was just going to the, we will investigate it, and if we can prove it, um, then you know we'll we'll put the alert on it. That's different. This whole public attention alert is absolute bullshit. And then the next thing is they've done this before where they've investigated it, and then you know it turned out to be not what the media said. That's happened before, which we're going to talk about in a second. What about that? And then somebody else said, what steps can a business take? Okay, say they had employees that do something bad they didn't know, and it turns out to be true. What steps can a business take to have that removed? Yeah. Are you always labeled because of one bad employee that you might not have known did something terrible? Well, that's it. I mean, what if you hire, what if your dishwasher, uh, you know, and you don't know, it's on your watch, you don't know anything about it, says some off-color remarks in the alley or something behind the building is there you know, whatever, and somebody overheard it and they're like, oh my God, I heard them use- Well, what if somebody comes word. in and deliberately abuses one of your employees and keeps making racial slurs and, and comments at them so they finally, it's like, you know, I've had it, you know, knock it off and maybe say something back in, you know, something back in their own defense, which they shouldn't do, but maybe they would. Are that whole business gonna be condemned because one person came in and baited one of their employees to say something racist? I mean, this is, and, and even if you get it removed, okay, we know how Twitter works. They will screenshot the 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 scarlet letter mm -hmm. and 10 years from now 10 years from now they'll be like well just so you know that bakery's racist yeah, because 10 years ago Yelp, we lied 10 years ago some people lied and got this is asking well, for a lawsuit well tell them what happened here so gibson's bakery now this one if you guys are not familiar gibson's bakery was uh effectively targeted by some some uh, you know, social justice warriors from Oberlin College, and they sued and they won. Um, they won. So yeah, I mean, look, th this is basically going to be the Gibson's Bakery situation, but on a massive all, scale. On a massive scale, uh, and, and you are just asking like Yelp again. The road to hell is paved with good intentions, mm -hmm. but this is absolutely absolutely going to be abused and eventually it's going to get to the point where yelp will probably if i had to guess find itself being sued into oblivion yep um and i i you know i don't know what to tell you i think this is a bad idea um yeah you know, word of mouth i get it you know it's going to get around there are people that are terrible people unfortunately but it's going to absolutely be abused now um there's an article out here on uh national interest talking about how you know yelp wants to become the racism police and it's a huge mistake it is uh what will you say when you're caught a supposedly racist small business yeah what happens if what happens if you take your lunch break and you don't i don't check yelp no, I don't either. Because I never I, look at Yelp because I know I already knew it was full of crap before this. Because I think they're worthless. Because they are. I, I know that people are petty and vindictive and they leave all kinds of whatever. I don't give a shit. Um, so what if you go to lunch or, or, or you're you know, driving through town and you just happen to stop at a stop at a restaurant and somebody snaps a picture? Or what if you're a celebrity and you stop at a restaurant that's been called potentially racist by Yelp and it goes to Twitter mm -hmm. and they're like, oh, my God, not only did Ryan Reynolds get married in a plantation, but we saw him eating at Gibson's Bakery. Educate yourself. Educate yourself, Ryan Reynolds. I'll be another $200,000, please. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's restitution. Just stupid. I mean, I, 100, I don't know what the answer is. I'm not going to lie. I mean, there, there needs to be an answer, but I don't know what it is. 
because any way you're going to try to stop this by doing things like this, you're just opening the door to a lot of abuse and a lot of other things. Plus the very fact that all these places keep assuming racism means something that completely different than what it means is a problem too. Yeah. Yeah. And they talk about how, you know, the big businesses like McDonald's, they'll be able to, cause they got the lawyers, they can get around it. But they said labels are going to injure small business owners who depend on digital platforms for exposure. It's going to hit the entrepreneur. A few seconds of unfortunate and often slanted, oh, often slanted, yes. often slanted Twitter footage is often sufficient to generate an article in a regional or local paper. Look at the MAGA hat kid. Yeah. Oh yeah, he's another one that won his lawsuit. Just, just one, they and settled. he has several. Several, I think they've settled with him because it was that that little you know bit of video that they was took not, out of context. Took it out of context. Um, Yelp is sure to counter that they will be merely highlighting the news coverage and that they're generating none of it. But this conveniently ignores the platform's power to determine what coverage gets highlighted. Exactly. Uh, they talked about how there was a a business in Sacramento was flagged. Uh, they flagged a racially abusive review. The couple, Yelp instructed the owners, a mixed race couple, that they could pay to expedite its removal. Yeah, you could pay, pay them. Pay to remove it. You could pay them to remove it. What? No, there's no, there, Yelp has no ulterior motives in this at all. Yeah, this is uh, in a country struggling with populism. This kind of posturing is tinder to kindling. And this uh, is the tack populism could easily take. A small business will be targeted on scant grounds. News coverage will trigger Yelp action and disaffected folks channeling legit anger at the outsized power exercised by Silicon Valley and other neoliberal elites will rally around. Um, it's basically, yeah, it, th you're in for one hell of a rude awakening Yelp if you go through with this. A lot of businesses um, are pulling their their membership or whatever they do. They're, they pay to use it. A lot of places are pulling it. I, I think they need to. Um, you know, what this reminds me of is the China's social credit system. Yes, it does. Because, you know, and they try to try to, I remember there, there were some news outlets, including Wired, that were trying to make excuses for this. It's like, oh, it's so different than a credit score with the, you know, banks and whatever. It's just, you know, have you been arrested? Are you a good person? Have you been caught in public saying anything that could potentially be offensive? And, and they think this is okay? Apparently they think it's okay. Uh, look at this kid look over here. Look what we're heading for, guys. We're heading for, you know, we're heading for 1984. We're heading for these, you know, dystopian novels and stuff. We're heading right for it. And, they, and, then, and the media is saying, oh, it's okay. Yeah, because they're part of it. Right. The media is going to, I mean, here's the thing. If they go through this Yelp thing and there's all kinds of people catching all kinds of video, whatever, the media is going to have a freaking feeding frenzy field day with it. They're going to be like, oh my God, look at all this bad news we can run with. And it doesn't matter if it destroys their business or not. Uh, we can run with this because God knows we need the hits because we're down on ad revenue. Let's do some more nasty Yelp stories. Well, here's a question. Uh, what if what if a white person goes in and accuses a, a non-white business of uh, racism? Oh, that's not allowed. But I'm saying, what, what if what if they really had? What if there really was racism? Like if you went into a, a black-owned business and they said that we don't we don't get served. Yeah, white or they were like making comments, you know, calling you slang terms or whatever, and there was racism, and but it was against a white person. Are they going to have the same, uh, you know, parameters in place? Well, that, that's a, that's a question. Well, that's, that's a good that's a good that question. That was determined too. Like, I mean, if you're going to treat every every case the same, okay, well then that's different. But if you're going, you still shouldn't label people until you have proof. Um, but if there's there's differentiation, which there clearly is, because they've been promoting certain businesses run by certain types of people over other businesses, um, they have a they have a bias. If they have no bias, that's a different story. This is going to be uh, there. This is it for Yelp. I'm telling you, if they go through with this. It is going to be used as you're going to have people trolling it just to troll it, just to watch it burn. Okay. Um, you're going to have people, you know, with petty, vindictive, whatever, uh, acts to grind with, you know, former employers or people that run, but they've lost all credit. People, they have, they have competition they don't like. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it doesn't matter who, what, what, you know, race is running the business. What if they stage something? What, just hypothetically speaking, you know, again, what if they would say like, hey, I'm going to give you a hundred bucks. You're going to quit your job at this diner anyway. Say something really offensive um, and make sure that we get it on camera over here because I this guy's my competitor mm -hmm. and I want to take his business down. I'm going to destroy his. And then you Yelp. can come work for us. Then you can come work for and us. And then since the media has an actual video, they'll say, oh, look, there's proof. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, this is so easily cheated. It's, it's ridiculous. I think we've I think we've covered this enough. Yeah, I just I, I good luck with that. I mean, this is it. When when Silicon Valley takes it upon itself to be the moral authority, mm -hmm. um, and not realizing that hey, there are a lot of people that are going to jump at the opportunity to abuse this. Uh, Good luck. But good news, if you can just pay them extra money to have it pay, looked at faster. Protection money. You pay, Basically. Pay Yelp protection money to keep your, your business's good name from being besmirched by trolls. That's right. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to wrap this up. Yep. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later. Bye.